Jenny Young. She's live in Oregon City with a look at some of the damage that is making it just so tough for crews to even get to these down lines tonight. Jenny, quite a mess down there. Oh, Wayne, it is such a mess, and you just feel so badly for the crews and the people out here without power. Look at this. We're on Holly Lane, just up the road from South Redland Road, and this tree, which collapsed oh, Friday night in the middle of the night, according to the homeowners, blocking this part of the road. And I want to show you where it hit the power line. This power line now dangling just 8 to 10 feet above uh, the, the road here. The uh, homeowners told me that this caught fire. The fire department came out and was able, they were able to put that out. But you know, you drive into Oregon City and it's like driving into a black hole. And then we have our headlights on and as we have those on, it's like you're driving through a war zone. It's just countless downed trees and power lines. PGE telling me that they have 400 power lines down in their region. Uh, they say they are working to get power back on. They brought crews from across Oregon, Washington, and say crews from Nevada and Montana are arriving tomorrow. But in the meantime, they are asking customers to remain as patient as possible. It's always a challenge when you have a winter storm like this to get into some of the more remote areas. And we know those, those customers are um, getting cold out there and, and we appreciate what they're up against. And, and just want to let them know that our, our crews are on their way, but it may take a while in this situation. So that was PGE spokesperson Steve Corson. He said the level of damage to the power infrastructure is unprecedented. He says they have more than 200 miles of transmission lines they need to repair in order to bring customers back up. Now another live look at this massive tree behind us. Again, this is on Holly Lane, just south of Redland Road. This is what uh, this looks like in neighborhoods around Oregon City. 110,000, more than 110,000 people without power in Clackamas County. Some of those people running on generators tonight, but some do not have generators. And Oregon City Police working to make sure those people are safe. We're talking to them about what they're doing tonight to keep those people safe. We'll have that for you at 11 o'clock. Reporting live tonight in Oregon City, Ginny Young, Queen 6 News.